everyone, it's Click here again, and today I have Movie Optimus version 2. So, here he is, and I've gotta say, this is one of, if not my favorite Transformers that I've made so far. Especially compared to version 1, that was a hot mess. But, I am very, very happy with this. I think this came out really well. So, just getting right into it, here we have him in his truck mode, obviously. I really like how this came out. Here he is from the side. I think the proportions look pretty good from each segment, really. Yeah, I think it all turned out very well. Here he is from the back. You can see it does get a little messy here, mostly in the corners. Um, but that is really, honestly, the best I could do try to clean this up as much as possible. The, the, uh, the rear fenders are a little bit on the thin side. Um, it does help to clean up the robot mode a lot more though. So that's why I went for that. And he does in fact roll. Forgot to mention that. So that's another little cool feature. Uh, for size comparison, here he is with there's a minifigure. I think this actually is a very, very good scale. Um, if anything, Prime is a little too big, but it is, it's pretty close. Here he is with Dark at the Moon Dino. And for one last comparison, here he is with the Studio Series Optimus. Yeah, overall a really cool looking truck mode. Red and blue go really good together, so can't go wrong. So that's about it for the truck mode, so we can move on to the transformation. Uh, the transformation is basically loosely based off of the Revenge of the Fallen Leader, of course, but I did add quite a bit of new stuff, and pretty much the whole torso transformation is a little bit different. So, first, what we're going to do is we're going to come to these side panels here, and they actually tab in, so we're going to kind of wiggle them out. You can see that came out of there, so you can lift this up and swing it off to the side. Then we can bring this back a little bit more so that we have room to then get this out. Bring this out of the way, and then this will come up. This whole thing will come up on a ball joint. Rotate, and then on this black piece here, you're going to hinge that down so it lays flat, and you're going to rotate this, rotate this, and then bring this down. And you're going to take this whole section here, rotate that 180 degrees, take this fender, and fold that in half, and then you're going to bring this up and kind of get it as compact as possible. And there you have basically one half of what it will be the backpack. So we're gonna come around and do the same thing on this side. Same thing. Detach this. And bring this out of the way. And then we will take this, bring this out, rotate on the ball joint. It is a little, a little, uh, messy here, but it's hard to move things around a little bit, but it works. And then we're going to, nope, this way. And then rotate, there's a ball joint in here as well. And then we can bring these smokestacks back just to make a little clearance. Uh, rotate this around. Fold that in half, and this can go up a little more. There we go. Collapse that up. And now we basically have what will be the backpack. I forgot to uh, rotate the smokestack on this side. There we go. So this whole little bit will like shift over there, and flip around to the top of the truck, and might as well do it on this side. While we're at it, might as well 
Okay. And then what we're gonna do is take the whole top half of the build and bring it back. Yeah. So this whole thing is the legs, just like most other Optimus Primes. <laughs> so we're gonna finish this so it's not so long. Split this. There's a little stud right there. And then you're gonna take this panel here. And this is something I really wanted to get down in this in this transformer here. You're gonna kind of curl this around so that this can come up. And then there's a ball joint in there so that you can kind of fold it along the back of the leg. Then we'll take this. This is actually the knee joint. I'm gonna take this out. This will be the knee pad. Bring this out. Now this is gonna be all one foot, so we're going to bring out this toe right here. This is going to come out. This will collapse in, collapse, and then collapse once more. And then we'll take this here. Rotate this around. This will kind of rest on this tire so that this can come around and somewhat hide it. And there we basically have one of the legs pretty much done. Now we're going to do the same on this side. So, again, bring this all the way around. Let's shift this up and then use that ball joint there. And then we're going to again take the knee pad, angle it out, bring the whole thing around. Bring this around as well. Fold out the toe. Collapse this. Bring this down. And cover that up. And there we have pretty much both the legs done. So now what we're going to do, bring these down. And this is where it gets a little tall, so I'm going to raise the camera up. This one right there is going to hinge like that. This is going to lay on top. And bring this up. And this will actually tab into the back right here. So press that in, and take these little panels and bring them to the side for now. And then this whole thing is going to come up, and then we'll just kind of rest it there for now. So you can see these two big chunks right here will come out on these big ball joint sections here. So you're going to kind of twist it so that's in that orientation. Same over here. Now you can see his head. These red sections are going to come out and rotate. And here you'll see there's a 1x2 hinge plate here. That's actually going to tab in right here. It took me a long time to figure out how to kind of solidify this whole top section a bit more. Actually, first you're going to hinge this down a little more so that it has the room to connect and that will squeeze in nicely this is gonna fold up and I'm bringing the head down a little bit for now bring these down and then what we're gonna do you see the ball joints in there I'm going to split the window sections bring the head up and then you're going to hinge these down and I'm actually going to bring these little door pieces out first and then you're going to bring them down that gives them the clearance and then once they're down you can kind of squeeze it to where the neck is bring that head up a little bit more and then you can actually angle these these arm sections are going to come up and connect 
to those smokestacks. Just like that. I'm gonna fold these up and ship them to the front. And then get the arm in the right position. And then I'll do the same over here. So connect this up. This is a surprisingly good job at holding the arm in place. Bring that up and bring the arm down. So these little panels will rotate around and shift in. Yeah, they like to come off every now and then. Rotate at the elbow. And then you're going to flip the hand out, bring this section around. This will rotate on one of those rounded bar plates. Bring that up, and then this will kind of lay against the arm, smooth things out a little bit. Now you basically have one arm done. Actually, never mind. Uh, you bring out his thumb. And there you have one arm done. Now we'll do the same on this side, of course. Bring this around and shift it over. Bring the hand out. Bring this around. Hinge up. Bring this over. And last but not least, we'll bring the thumb out. And a couple things I actually forgot to mention. Um, there are the wheels actually can hinge up. And then these can shift up a little bit. Just to give it a more angled look. Something like that. And these can also flare out a little bit more. But otherwise... There we pretty much have Optimus Prime in his awesome looking robot mode. And yeah, I think this is my favorite Transformer that I've made thus far. Um, definitely, definitely one of my favorites. I, th I just think it turned out really good. The funny thing is it actually started as pretty much just an experiment, seeing if I can get um, the panels of the truck to end up on his legs. Which I did accomplish, so that is very good. And it does affect the backpack a little bit. It is still a little bigger than I would have liked. It's not, it's not bad at all though. It actually looks pretty accurate, which is something I wanted to get as well. Again, making those one stud wide fenders really helps to compact things a lot more. Yeah, you can see got those panels again on the legs. Very happy with how this turned out. Here he's compared to a minifigure. Again, I think he's probably a little too big. Nothing major. Here he is with Barricade. And here he is with Starscream. So yeah, again, either he's too small or he's too big. He's probably too small, honestly. And here's an interesting comparison. Bumblebee Movie Prime and Babers Prime. And real quick, we'll go into articulation. He's got a lot of ball joints. Uh, he's got a ball joint at the ankle, a ball joint at the knee, ball joint at the hip. You can go up and back pretty far, so that's good. Uh, this thing is on a hinge. Um, ball joint at the shoulder, ball joint at the elbow, ball joint at the wrist. Articulated fingers. Um, this thing moves around, it hinges forward and back. And the head is on a robot hand, so it can go 360 up and down. Oh, and these can also angle really however you want. <laughs> you can get that kind of angle there, or you could have it flat, whatever you like. And now we'll get into accessories. I only made a couple. I just made his gun and his sword. I just made two of them. Two of each. Because why not? And we'll start with the gun here. Gun just plugs into his hand from there into there. And you kind of got to bring his thumb out a little bit. But, uh, 
Yeah, they pretty much have his gun in his hand. But yeah, that looks pretty good, I think. It's got all those weird little barrels everywhere. And now for the sword, uh, this little bracket piece simply goes between his hand and his forearm. So that will just kind of sandwich in between them. It actually makes it really secure, which is very nice. So he can shoot and stab, or he could double stab stab, or even the classic double pew pew. Well, that's about it for this video, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite Transformers, if not my favorite Transformer that I've made. And, yeah, I'm really happy to show it off to you guys. So, that is about it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.